what up? It's your boy Epic Daffodil, and today we're back at it again with Late Baby episode six, I think. But yeah, we back. We took a little break, you know, playing a little other games, seeing what the vibe is like. But we're back at Lake. So if you guys, right before we start the video, I need you to smash that like button, subscribe for more content, and put that notification bell on so you're notified the next time I upload. Let's just jump right into it. No cappers. We're back where we left off at the Weiss residence Saturday evening. Hey, Em, it's me, Kay. <laughs> wow, I just, like, instantly dialed your parents' number. Superpowers! <laughs> Say that. Probably just muscle memory or something like that, right? Or maybe it's like that thing where you smell something and it instantly triggers this mega old memory you didn't even know you had. You know what I mean? I ain't even home yeah, to listen to this. I had that once when Barry bought me lilac. And the smell instantly mentally teleported me to when I was like six years old and fell out of a tree. And I ended up with all this lilac smelling tree gunk all over my face. You remember that, right? Nah. It's like that with old phone numbers. You go, plus dial M, and then your brain just triggers your fingers to dial? Man. Anyway, I uh, didn't call about that, obviously. Mm -hmm. I was thinking of maybe taking a stroll around the lake this Sunday, clear my head, and then Maureen suggested maybe you'd like to tag along. Not that... I'm asking because of Maureen, of course. Just thought it might be fun to check out the old hangouts and the lake sites and all. There's no old hangouts. There's only one hangout. This city's small as hell. Not even a city. This town is small as hell. So I'll see you when I see you. Sunday morning watchtower. Be there or be square. Crazy. You just cut it off. Oh, wait. Do I meet her or not, low key? You know what? I don't know. She did give me attitude. I don't know. You know, we'll meet. We'll meet, and if she becomes a dickhead, I'll mean the to her. The Countess and the Carpenter? <laughs> really, Mom? Oh, well, let's give it a read. The Countess and the Carpenter. No way we're reading this book. Chapter 1. A more Yo, allow it. Allow it. I don't care. Was scarcely imaginable for allow it, bro. Why is the senior? <laughs> the left wheel of her carriage collapsed. Right as she entered through the gates of the magnificent Raubenstaben estate. I can't skip this, she yo. upside down. Hurt her hair. All right, and well, worse, I'm just stuck over it then. Was we're gonna meet Kate, Suddenly, and if I even sense a little bit of, of her being a dickhead, we're mean to her for the rest matter. of the series. We're mean to her, cause she was giving me a little attitude in the beginning, and I let that slide. But you know, Sunday, there's no, there's no work today, right? Oh, we're doing edit stuff. We're doing our other job. I almost forgot how relaxed life is here. If people just start a conversation with you as if they don't want to be somewhere else. Which is probably true. As so far, I delivered quite a few packages of letters, home movies, and even a li living creature. Oh no. Oh my god. I wonder what next will week will bring. She seems way too excited for this. But not before ending this week with two meetings with friends. An old one and a very new one. Should be interesting. Are these her parents? Seems alright, and this is probably her. Type shit. Alright, so are we gonna go meet with Kay, I assume? Hey, Em! Em! Up here! Hiya! Hi. Should I just come up? Come on up! You just have to watch your step on the third ledge. Should be good. I have to what? On I don't know what. Now? What? It's fine. Cross my heart and hope to die. Scout's honor. She's trying to kill me here. Hope I don't die climbing this tower. Yeah. Okay. Good. We made it. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> so glad you made it. Isn't it nice up here? Here, I thought she was about to kill my ass. Uh, my own memories is a bit different to how. Sure is. Oh, that view gets me every time. <laughs> Sounds like you can't hate on views. To remember what's like low key, about can't even hate on it. Uh. Those times we took some pie up from the diner after school and sat here talking about whatever we felt like. Oh yeah. How about that afternoon I snuck in some beers from Uncle Stan? Ooh, really disgusting. What a rebel. And puked all over the rail. In fact, there are some it, wild ones, weren't where they? You're standing right now? Oh my gosh, it totally was. Oh, 
Hold up. I seem to remember it was closer to where you're standing. Like exactly where your hands are now. Oh! <laughs> oh my lord. I'm glad you're back. I kind of miss having it. you around. Aw, it didn't really feel that way. I don't feel the same way. So much has happened since then. Maybe. That's it? So, what's life been like for you since you left? Positives? Negatives? You know, I went to university, got a job. Uh, maybe, uh, and maybe not. Uh, you know, it's been really good. It's been really good. And the company I work for has a major break coming up, so that's interesting. Oh, that sounds great. Congratulations. You better not sound jealous. Thanks. It certainly is something to think Imagine about. the story just flips and she just tosses me over this thing. Boring by comparison. Well, I wonder this I wonder if this game's gonna take a flip or not. It'll be funny if it did. Isn't. Ooh, that sounds juicy. That's what she said. Is this about something or someone? That's for me to know and me to find out. Yeah, back Ooh, off. There she goes with the crazy eyes. M still stands for mind your own beeswax, I see. <laughs> beeswax? Alright, alright. I'm backing off. Uh, I don't know what... I, I, this one just seems like... I'll just what ask a basic you? question. Did you end up going to college? Yeah, uh, about that. I mean, I wanted to go to art school, yes. But turns out I wasn't good enough, or... At least that's what they told me when I applied. So Damn. I decided to stay and do my own thing. Make music, perform and stuff. You know, I picked up some shifts at the diner. Barry and I reconnected. I got married. And then Max came along. You haven't met him yet, have you? He turns 13 in a few months. Time flies. Anyway, having Max gave things a different rhythm, but I still continued with my music. Even managed to get a bit of a buzz. If y'all want to skip this, you can go. You can go right at. Gigs. I feel like nothing important is gonna happen fun. here. Fun. I don't want to hear the rest of it. That sounds exciting. Yeah, just like that. Uncle Stan got sick. Hit him and Aunt Mo like a ton of bricks. It was crushing. There I was. Maybe I should have met with her. With no hate or anything, but like low key, kind of drag. Because I don't know if this is gonna lead into anything. Because low key, I don't know what this game endpoint is. So if you guys know, let me know in the comment. Don't spoil it. But like you know, uh. I can't imagine what it must have been like. I'm picking random choices, by the way. So. I see where you're going, but honestly, I found myself lucky in a way. It gave me time to assess. Sounds like you really stepped up. Well, in hindsight, it was a lot. In the moment, though, you don't stop to think. You just do it. Where was Barry in all this? Barry was... Oh, so I actually end up asking the fucking Barry question. I thought I just didn't ask it. tasks back at the house, and he took care of Uncle Stan when he could. No questions asked. He was just there. What a nice guy. And what now? Well, Mo has offered a couple of times to put my name above the door at the diner. Up until now, it felt like too much. Too soon. Too definitive. But, I don't know. Maybe if she asks again, I'll think about it. Well, Kay's Kay diner. Maybe things ended up... It Sounds like a vibe. ...not have been part of my master plan. But I got to spend some of the most But Mo's diner sounds kind of cool, though. ...life with the most precious people I know. Got to say goodbye to Uncle Stan and be there for Mo. He basically raised me. I'm grateful I got to do that for them. And I built a family of my own. Right here in good old P.O. And one day... More like P.U. Curl all over this Get riddle, it? Just like we No, did. I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. It's been tough. But looking back, I wouldn't trade any of it for the world. That's so great, Kay. I'm glad at least one of us grew up to be a well-rounded individual. Is there a manual I can borrow? Well, after you left, I had to raise myself, didn't I? <sighs> so, ready to descend to the world below? Yeah. Yeah. Seems like it's time. Come on, then. Alright, so I guess it's work. It's a Monday. Is it work time? Oh, no, Sunday evening, though. 
Another phone call. Hello? You're speaking to Monster Deal Central. How may I help you? I'm not interested in telemarketing. Hey, Steve. You're in a good mood. Meredith, please tell me to calm down. We are so close to a deal. Add it 87. It's Am I going to get a raise in all this? Hold up. M -m 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 Monster Deal. Calm your eyes down. Oh, wow. That is so awesome. Tell me more. Okay, okay. I met up with this big retailer, right? Yeah. They read our great pitch. They loved it, and they want to buy 250,000 copies of Addict. Damn. 250,000. Damn. We'll play that by like 35 bucks. What? That's millions of dollars of revenue. Where am I getting the money from? M -m millions. Yeah, am I getting that money, though? The start. Listen. I've got the contract right here. I'm sending over a copy. You should have it tomorrow. Please, please check, check, double check, check it right away. I want. Am I getting this milli dough? I want okay. that money. Gotcha, Steve. Don't worry about it. Awesome. I'll be in touch again through the evening. I'm so excited, and I just can't hide it. <laughs> if Steve didn't give me that money. Steve's about to get this right hook to his face, and he definitely can't hide that. It's official. Oh. I love horror movies. A Nightmare on Elm Street is radical. It was Oh, I forgot. Time. I was help I was like letting her watch that horror movie that she's not allowed to watch. You weren't scared at all? Nope. Told you. Man, I wish my parents would let me watch these movies. Can't wait until I move out. Uh move out? Aren't you 15 years old or something? Almost 16, and yeah, don't get me wrong. I love tinkering and I love working in my father's shop, but mm -hmm. it's just so. First of all, why is she wearing? A, why is homegirl wearing working gloves at the house? Well, Take sure those things you off. You're not at work. Many teenagers here in Providence Hills, and I'm homeschooled, so I don't have many friends to hang out with either. Uh. But what do you? I don't care about her parents. Yeah, I don't know why I'm asking that. I don't know. My parents want me to work in dad's shop, but I don't think I want that. And you left when you were younger, so I figured maybe you had some advice for me? Oh, well, maybe. I think... Uh, what are you... you know, give a school a chance, really yo. Give school a chance. Like, honestly, there are quite a few it's not a bad shop. Tinker on things way bigger than just cars. That sounds amazing. But a homeschooler like me? Oh yeah, for sure. Sure they would, and you know what? I gotta help out homegirl. You feel me? Comes to apply, but you'd still have to study really hard. I can do that. Thank you so much, Meredith. Of course. For talking to me and stuff. Was You're very welcome, Lori. I had a lot of fun tonight. <laughs> me too. I should get home soon. Later, Meredith. Peace. Later. Peace out. Peace out. Monday is it working day already? Okay. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey, Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Addit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Whoa. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. Well, that was this name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Did I? I don't remember. This dude has a deep voice, like, God damn. Ah, uh, yes, I remember. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. Whoa. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are we getting in trouble? Hold up. Is this dude a cop? Hold up. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Yeah. Um, yes, well... Imagine just I just said nah. Can you remember this segment from chapter 11, uh -huh. section 3, first paragraph? Hell no. Nah. Dude, what do I say? Yeah, sure, oh, I totally remember yes, it. Yes, chapter 11. Riveting stuff. It says in chapter 11, section Ah, oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? And I'll paraphrase. It is forbidden to use postal service property for personal gain. Ah, oh, yes, very bad. Not good. Sounds so sarcastic. I'm saying that yes, shit. Very bad. 
Not good. Not no, no. Good Big no. Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here. Mm -hmm. And I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. Of course. I mean, yes. On the definition of integrity. Look up the definition of integrity. It has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions truthfully. Oh, hell no. A yes or no will suffice. Okay. Do you know Frank Coleman? Who is that? Chat? Uh, I think? Yeah, I know Frank. Yes? Have you ever given him envelopes or received envelopes from him? That weren't postmarked. <laughs> what? No. No. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? No. Does he? No. What? Is Frank about to get fired? That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Good luck with the mail today, Miss Weiss. Hold on, I'm not trying. I wasn't trying to stitch on my boy Frank, but hopefully he doesn't get fired. Hold on, I don't want my boy Frank to get fired now. Damn, I didn't stitch though, because if I said I knew he was pacing bus, that would have been snitching. I can't stitch on my boy Frank like that. Hold on, let me check. Like, let me check out what I gotta do. Okay. So this video is already long enough due to Kay's really long ass speech. So I'm gonna leave it right here. But yeah, I'll, we're gonna we're, we're gonna do this run on the next episode. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Did I snitch or did I not? I don't think I did. Hopefully Frank doesn't get in trouble. We're set. We're now friends with Kay, I think. And hopefully me and Angie can get back to our romantic life. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget, like the video, subscribe, put that notification bell on. You feel me? Come on now. Hope you guys enjoy the video. I know there was not that much action in this video, but we it's just part of the story we have to get through. You know, it just have to we have to get through the story. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great week. Love you. Bye.